Okay, so I'm here with Judy Hudson at the Jarden Oster booth working on a Bichon. We're just going to kind of sneak in and peek at what she's doing. She's going to explain to the crowd um, what she's doing to the Bichon. So. We're going to start with a level top line. Again, I'm using a half-inch comb coming straight off of his hip bones. What clipper is this? This is the new Volt. It's a lithium ion. It's an A5 clipper. Uh, it lasts, the battery lasts for two hours. I'm coming off his hip to set in his 30 degree angle. And then I like to go from the bend of the leg up to the hip bone. And then it just kind of pops me right out and that sets in my 60 degree angle. And then I go from the bend out off the hock and that sets in my other 30 degree angle. And I do this because that's what it tells me in the breed standard that this dog structure should be. And almost every dog that we groom, those are the, the same, that's the same structure. The bones might be longer or shorter, but the structure's the same. So then I'm just gonna come off his hip over here at the 30, and then I just go straight down till I get to his knee and then blend off. And this is all with a half inch comb. What blade do you have underneath the snap-on? I have a 30 Oster blade. Then I like to go around to the front of the dog And because our Bichons are supposed to be square, I will typically go from the point of the shoulder up to his Adam's apple and get rid of any excess coat. And then it calls for them to have a well laid back shoulder, which is at the 45 degree angle. So to accentuate that, I'm gonna go from the point of the shoulder in to the front of my front leg and straight down. And then that will set in the length that I want on the front of my dog's leg. Now, are you skimming this, or are you following the structure of the dog's body? I'm pretty much following the structure of the dog's body. Um, I'll say I'm blending if I'm, if I'm skimming off. So then I'm going to come up under my ear, going back at my 45-degree angle, and skimming off at the rib cage. And then I'm going to go straight down the leg because I want to have a nice parallel line. And then his chest is to his elbow, so he doesn't need any extra hair down there. So I'm going to go on around, see if I can groom left-handed here. I'm pulling the skin up tight, and that helps me get a nice, clean area under his um, chest. Okay? So in just a few minutes, we've outlined our dog. And... Um, set our length overall where we want it to be but we know now where we're going and by using your universal combs to help you work smarter not harder then all I have to do is comb him up maybe go over him one more time with my blade with my half inch comb and then I can scissor him but your universal combs will help you cut your time in half if you'll follow your bone structure know what it is on your dogs and know what your breed standard says and these, these tools will help you cut your time in half if you'll use them properly.